and this video is going to give continuity to the study of the gamma function. So, we have seen the properties of the gamma function which are very important for us to define um, or to solve various cases in which you are going to have uh, uh, improper integrals. So in this video we are going to solve a few examples. Say, first example, say for example we are given, um, let us say, from zero integration, from zero to infinity of e raised to minus x, x raised to 4 dx. Now we are supposed to find what is the value of this. Now before we try to use our substitution by parts and try to separate this function and then this function then try to find u and then dv, du, dv. One thing we know is that the general or the form of gamma function is that gamma of n is equal to 0 to infinity of e raised to minus x, x raised to 4 dx. No, x raised to n minus 1 dx, sorry, x raised to minus n dx. Gamma of n is 0 to infinity e raised to minus x, x raised to n minus 1 dx. Okay, this is the general form for, or this is the definition of a gamma function. Now, if you see this, before we even go in trying to uh, make substitutions and all to find whatever the value of this function is, we know that this function has something that resembles this. But the only problem here is that um, we don't have n or, or this kind of expression here. Now, this is because this is a gamma function. So whatever they are asking us to find is to find the value of this function here, which you can easily find by applying just the concept of the gamma function. So the result of this is going to be this. You're going to have here, you, you have to make your own transformations. But you're going to have here 0 raised to, in from 0 to 8 e raised to minus x and then we're going to have here x now remember the formula says it's n minus 1 so in this case we have to replace this to a form in which you're going to have n minus 1 so it's going to be 3 um, 5 actually 5 minus 1 why because 5 minus 1 is equal to 4 so basically we're just expanding or separating to have this form here and then dx right so this can tell us that whatever the value of this function is, is gamma of 5 because 5 is taking the place of n okay and this means that by the we had um, we saw a property that said that gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n gamma of n which is equal to n factorial we can see that this is also equal to 4 factorial and the exercise is solved so the advantage of using this method that we do not we do not have to uh, apply all the long ways of integrations that we found like by parts and all we can simply solve this thing in this way second exercise they ask you for example um, let's say this is size number two what is gamma of one now gamma of one is equal to we have to write the form i'm going to have here zero two infinity e raised to minus x this is a standard because it doesn't involve n but then here they say gamma is 1 so it means we're going to have x n minus 1 whatever n minus 1 we're talking about here it should be uh, it should be such that you are obeying that formula n minus 1 and it all all of this this n minus 1 this n in this expression is the one which is here and the other one is here okay so this is going to be what this is going to be what is our n you can take it from here 1 minus 1 dx okay so this is going to be from 0 to infinity then we're going to have your e raised to minus x dx okay so this is how we're going to solve this function here by the, by the properties we have used we know that gamma of 1 is equal to 1 but you may need to elaborate this thing so it's also easy to elaborate you just have an integral of this which is e raised to minus x divided by minus one and then you're not not like this and then whatever your integrations are are from uh, infinity from zero to infinity so this is going to give you one this is going to give you minus e raised to minus infinity minus but i want to have minus but minus 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 going to become plus e raised to zero this leads to zero 
and this leads to one so you're going to have here plus one so you can solve in this way or you can simply use the property that we have seen which says that gamma of one is equal to one so this is the second way of solving this function by applying directly the properties sometimes the examples may not be that simple say for example you're given something like this we have from zero to infinity it's still simple because the limits are the same and then we're going to have here e raised to minus square root of x and then we're going to have x raised to 3 dx okay so this is our problem now now we may solve this by using uh, substitution by parts we may try to solve this thing and then uh, waste a lot of time doing so but we have always to remember that the definition of gamma of n is gamma of n from 0 to infinity of e raised to minus x, x raised to n minus 1 dx. Okay, whatever we're trying to do here, we are trying to actually make this equation here equivalent to this one so that we can easily find n, this expression here. Okay, so we have here n minus 1 and here only have 3. So this expression here should be equivalent to this expression here. And then we have this problem here with this minus x minus square, square root of x while in the original formula it has to be minus x alone how do you solve this thing simply make considerations let which are our assumptions let root of x be equal to another variable you can call a variable as t okay fine so it means that when this is zero this is also zero if i put this as infinity this is also going to be infinity what this implies that whatever the limits we're going to have are going to remain from zero to infinity fine so this is going to be like this now if i um, make square of this i'm just making square of this i'm going to have x but this here is going to become t square okay and now let us use what we're going to do is just make the differentiation of this side so this is going to become dx and this is going to become 2 d d t done so now let's try to apply to this this is going to become equal to 0 to infinity because the limits remain if this is replaced by 0 this is going to be 0 if this is infinity this is going to be also infinity okay so we're going to have here e raised to we're going to have minus root of x but we know that root of x is t so it's going to be e raised to minus t and then you're going to have x raised to instead of having x we know that x is t square so it's going to be t square into that tree which is this one given here and now our dx is equal to 2t so we're going to be 2t dt this is going to be equal to now we're taking this to put outside because it's a constant so this is going to become 2 from 0 to infinity and then we're going to have here e raised to minus t and then we're going to have t and then this is 6 t raised to 6 into t d t okay continue you're going to have 2 from 0 to infinity e raised to minus t and then i'm going to have a t so this same base you just have to add the powers so this is going to be what t raised to 7 t t now i dealing with t okay so but you cannot just put a number here we have to put in the form in this form here n minus 1 so n minus 1 is equal to 7 okay so this means what it means that our n is equal to 7 plus 1 so our n is equal to 8 so this is going to become 2 from 0 to infinity of e raised to minus t into t raised to 8 minus 1 which is going to give us 7 which is dt now from this expression we know that whatever the number we're making minus uh, 1 is our n so this is going to be equal to this whole expression excluding the 2 is now on the gamma function form so this is going to be 2 into gamma 
of 8 right but we know that this is the same thing as saying 2 into 7 factorial okay so in this way we have found the solution so if they ask you what is our n our n is equal to 8 so this is one of the case in which we have to apply the concept of the gamma function and its properties to find the result by the way this is not the end we have to find what is the factorial of 7 then multiply by 2 and then we're going to get the result in terms of a given number